Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Today's video is going to be my empties for the month of May. I got through a few candles, a lot of body care, and some hair and some makeup stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. So we're gonna start off with candles because I know that's usually what you guys like to see first. That's what I like to see first. The first thing is Eucalyptus Mint Single Wick. This one I had going in my bathroom. It was in my um, Project Wax. If you guys don't aren't regulars on my channel, I do a Project Wax um, pretty much monthly update where I'm trying to finish off a lot of my candle collection. So this one had been in for three months. This is the progress lines on there. And I finished it off in the bathroom, really, really good. I'm gonna be looking for this one at SAS if I can get it on a good deal. Cause I love that for the bathroom, it cancels out pretty much any odor you can think of. And then I also finished off a champagne toast single wick. This one was also in the project. So here's the progress, one, two, three months. And then like I literally just burned it a ton last month. And oh my God, this scent's amazing, you guys. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend. I don't know, I don't think they came out with this. It's usually kind of like a winter time. They market it as like a New Year's kind of fragrance. Um, but I think it's also like a year round scent in the White Barn collection. This is a White Barn single wick. So if I can find this again, I will definitely get it. It was also really good for the bathroom, but just in general, it's also like very strong for a single wick. So that was really nice. And then a three wick, three wick that I finished is Vanilla Bean Noel. I put this on the wax warmer and it performed amazingly. So this was in my project wax. I had been um, burning it for a while. And then I finally decided to just put it on the wax warmer because it was literally, you could barely smell it at all. Even in my bathroom, you could barely smell it. But um, my friend here on YouTube, Ashley Nicole, she did the same thing where she put it in her, her candle crock. That's where I put it, my candle crock and my warmer. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I got mine from Amazon. Um, but putting it in there, it turned into like a medium thrower and it was really, really nice. And Vanilla Bean Noel is one of my favorite scents. So it was just glorious. There's still like, still like even the tiniest bit of, bit of scent left. Um, but it's it was so good. This is literally one of my favorite scents. Definitely gonna get it again next year and put it on the uh, candle crock. This lasted like pretty much a whole month on the crock. Kind of like turning it on and off for like half days every other day, so. And then I also finished off Goose Creek's Fried Apple Sugar. Um, this one did not burn down all the way, um, but the progress that I have on it was here to here in a month. Um, I also burned this just in my bathroom to try to get rid of it. Um, it wasn't my favorite scent. Very artificial apple, um, sweet artificial apple. Not my favorite scent, but beautiful burn um, and great throw. So I would definitely consider getting these three wicks from Goose Creek again, but not this scent. I definitely prefer the three wicks over the like big jar candles because those are so sooty. It is like not even a joke. So don't get those, get the three wicks. Um, but I didn't like this scent. And then I had my first ever wax empty this month. This is the Lumen Essence brand from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is toasted marshmallows. Basically smelled like marshmallow fireside to me. Um, it was a very, very light scent. So I don't recommend it in like an open concept but I use this in my warmer that I have in my office at work, which I have an office that connects, like all of the offices connect through the ceilings so other people can smell when I'm melting in there. So I like to have a very light scent going where it's just like me smelling it, not everybody else. So this was actually really good for that, but definitely don't recommend this in an open concept or even in like my actual bedroom. It would probably be too big of a space for it to even you could even pick up the scent so definitely recommend this for like a very small room but it was really good and i think i will get it again and i probably will buy more from the brand because it's literally a dollar a dollar tree okay moving into body care so i have a few um pocket backs i have four that we finished up in the last month my mom gives me hers too so she finished off these two in unicorn petals um it was basically like a kind of candy floral scent. Pretty good. She finished those off though. And then I finished off um, strawberry pound cake with the little fox on it. This is from the fall, such a good scent. And ho ho ho, tis the season, which was kind of an odd one to use in this time of year, but it was good. It was fine. I really like the scent. And then I have a hand lotion 
in warm vanilla sugar. I've been finishing off like one of these per month and definitely open these up because you will get like a few more uses even out of the like tiny little bottles like this. But really good scent. Warm vanilla sugar is also one of my favorite staple scents. So we'll never deny anything warm vanilla sugar. I love it so much. And then I finished off two minis. I finished Tiki Bay Island Margarita Ultra Shea Body Cream. This is from last summer. And it was just like a nice tropical scent kind of bringing in the summertime scents slowly. Um, it's been like really rainy and dreary here in Houston and I didn't really feel like this every day so I really only used it when it was like hot outside but it was really, really good. They don't have this in this year's summer, summer line um, for body care but they do have it in a candle. So it was really good though. And then I also finished off Sunshine Mimosa in a mini shower gel, really nice. I don't think I'd get this in a full size, but it was really fun to use it for a while there. It's just like a very nice bright citrus scent. So I really enjoyed this one when I was like super sweaty from like a workout or something. It's just like nice and refreshing. So it was nice. I might would get another mini of it during um, SAS. I would think about it, um, but I don't think I'd get a full size. And then I finished off Pink Velvet Cupcake in the full size body cream. This is from last fall. Smells so good. I love Pink Velvet Cupcake. It's such a good scent. I really wanted to finish this before um, this fall because these body creams go bad pretty quickly. And so I wanted to finish up with finish it up within the year. So glad to have that one done. And then I have Twinkling Nights, the body lotion. I got this at the Winter SAS. So good. I heard this is coming back for Summer SAS. So if you like this or if you like a very... I would say this is like a toned down floral scent because I don't really like florals that much, but this is Frosted Jasmine Petals, Whipped Vanilla, and Mandarin Blossom. So I think it's like a toned down, um, good intro kind of floral scent. To me, it was really good. So I definitely enjoyed this. I would consider getting it again, but I'm kind of like limiting how much body care I will be buying at SAS, so I probably won't be getting anything full size for the time being. I also finished off a uh, body scrub. This is from a local um, vendor near me. I got this at like a trade show. Uh, the vendor is called The Arthritic Artisan. She has a Facebook and I think she has a YouTube as well. Um, but this is the Cranberry and Fig Whipped Scrub. It's a Himalayan pink and dead sea salt scrub. It was really nice. It was like one of those foaming scrubs. Um, and I love this jar. I'm going to clean this out once I'm done doing this video and I'm going to keep this because I did have a uh, sugar scrub in Vanilla Bean Noel in the Christmas time and ants ended up getting into it and because the packaging was not like properly closing. It was basically, you know, it's basically this packaging, um, but like the back had broken off a little bit so the packaging wasn't closing properly. So I think if I ever get a sugar scrub again, I'll keep this under my sink and then just squeeze it into there and use it from there um, instead of using the other packaging because I feel like this is a good airtight container if you're using a sugar scrub. Um, so definitely recommend that. I, I've never had that problem with ants getting into my shower before, but that was kind of gross. So I'm going to try and limit that. Um, I'm going to try and not buy sugar scrubs again, but if I find one in a good scent, then at least I'll have like a backup way to store it. And then I finished off two hand soaps. This is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone and Toasted Vanilla Chai. This one was in our downstairs bathroom. Such a good scent. I'll be looking for this again. Um, at SAS. It's just like a nice warm vanilla. That's pretty much what it was, like a bakery vanilla. Um, but try to find it in a foaming. I don't really like the gentle gel formula. Um, and then toasted vanilla chai. This is one of my favorites, you guys know. This is like definitely my favorite hand soap form. I hope they come out with it again in the candle. I think in like 2018 they had it in a candle form. But this is one of my favorite scents. I didn't like it in the gentle gel, but I do love it in the foaming. So. That one's finished up. And then the last Bath & Body Works thing I have is the Champagne Toast Car Fragrance Refill. This is in my car right now. I actually, I think I put it in the beginning of the month in May and I probably already need to replace it because I can't really smell it anymore. So <laughs> that's an empty there. And then moving on to some hair care. I finished off a few things. Um, this is the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. This is my go-to if I'm gonna wear my hair curly. Um, I've already bought a repurchase of this and it's amazing totally recommend I don't know if it's curly curly girl friendly um, but I love it so I'm just gonna keep using it and then I finished the living proof restore dry scalp treatment um, this I use because I do have like eczema on my scalp 
and I've already repurchased it. Now it's in a different packaging. I think it's like a blue package instead of this like lilac purple, but really good. I highly recommend if you have like problems with your scalp. It was, it's nice and like soothing to put on after your shower too. And then I finished off a mini in the Chi Iron Guard heat protectant spray. Love this stuff. I've already repurchased a full size of it. It's like this big bottle. Um, yeah, definitely use a heat protectant on your hair. And then I finished off the Kenra Platinum Snail CC Cream. This is basically a hair mask, like a leave-in treatment for your hair. So like I'd put it on my wet hair after I shower and you don't have to rinse it out. So I liked it, it was really nice. Um, I'm not sure I noticed much of a difference with my hair, but I con will continue to use a leave-in treatment anyways. And then I also finished off the Fave 4 Smooth For Sure Blowout Cream. This is so good. I haven't bit the bullet yet and bought a full size on Amazon yet, but Fave 4 is a great hair care brand if you haven't heard of them before. I think they do sell the um, products in store at Sally's, um, but this is so good. It's so good. So I have another blowout um, product that I'm using right now. So I'm gonna finish that and then I'll probably repurchase the full size of this one. It's so good. And then a few makeup products that I finished. So I finished off the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in Clear. It was really good. I loved it. I already repurchased it in, um, actually this is not the Brow bo Boss. This is, oh, this is Elf. What am I saying? Oh my God. Uh, no, this is the Elf Wow Brow. That's what I repurchased. But this was really good. I did like it. Um, it didn't really keep my eyebrows like too, too much intact, um, but it was nice. Definitely liked it. And then I also finished off the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. Um, it takes me forever to finish off concealer, so this is like a really good accomplishment for me. Um, really, really love this formula. Highly recommend. If you like, um, if you're like me and you have dry skin, you'll love this. Um, it's also like it covers up pretty well, so highly recommend. And then the last thing I finished off is the Link Me Later Face Primer. It's the Mattifying Face Primer from Elizabeth Mott. Just a mini sample size. I probably got this like three or four years ago um, in like a Ipsy or BoxyCharm or something. Um, and I finally finished it off. It's basically like the same thing as the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Basically the exact same thing. This is what I'm using now. Um, but I wanted to finish off this mini one just to get it out of my collection. Pretty good. Not gonna repurchase it because I already have a backup. But yeah, that's all for the empties. I finished off four candles, you guys, pretty good. We've been like staying pretty steady with the candle usage and I'm very proud of that. So yeah, that's everything for all of the empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below some stuff that you're really happy that you finished up and I know SAS is coming up. So the next video I promise will be my SAS wish list. I'm about to film it right after this and it's gonna be so exciting. I, I literally cannot wait for SAS, so. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading SAS videos probably like crazy. I really wanna do a lot of like walkthroughs of my stores. I'm gonna to go to the stores by my work. I'm gonna to go to the stores by my house and like everywhere in between and just see what I can find and try and vlog as much as I can for you guys because I feel like that's like the best part of SAS is seeing what everybody else has at their store because it's always different and unique. So. Anyways, if you couldn't tell, I'm very excited, but <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!